Good morning, morning again. It's Camille. And Aaron. From Finding Our Forte. And so glad you're joining us again. I hope you're hungry because this video is all about eating. One of my favorite things to do. And mine, trust me. Uh huh. As you can see. So in this video, come along with us as we show you 10 places that we went to in Savannah that you have to eat at. There's a nice large variety. So we did some desserts, we did some like sit down meals, some that are a little pricey, some that are easy on the wallet, um, but definitely all good, must, must see. Yep, and after that, we also did a little bit of walking around. We took some photos and some, a lot of different, of, of different scenery. So come have a look. The Funky Brunch Cafe. After walking around downtown Savannah, we couldn't wait to stop by this brightly colored cafe on East Broughton Street. Featuring all of your favorite brunch dishes with a funky twist, you are sure to find something to enjoy. We had the andouille sausage scramble and the heifer and the hen house, which were packed with flavor. Needless to say, we had empty plates. Trailer Park, double wide diner. With locations in both Florida and Georgia, you would be amiss not to try one of Trailer Park's locations. We had breakfast at the Double Wide Diner, which is one of their newer locations. This time, we started with drinks and enjoyed a double down breakfast and hot chicken waffle tacos. To be honest, I wasn't sure all the flavors of the waffle taco were going to mix, but boy was I wrong. Kim's Cafe. If you want to support a local family owned business, Kim's Cafe is where you should head. They have a wide range of Southern soul food staples and serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Since we were short on time, we grabbed a breakfast sandwich that was the perfect portion. Cahill's Market. We decided to venture across state lines to Bluffton, South Carolina to check out Cahill's Market. They are another family owned and operated restaurant specializing in fried chicken and farm to table recipes. While waiting for your table, feel free to browse their on-site produce market, garden, or small collection of farm animals. The menu rotates depending on what's in season, but chicken is always on the menu. The Old Pink House. If you want to elevate your dining experience, check out the Old Pink House. With crafted cocktails and a variety of menu items to choose from, you may find yourself coming here for more than one meal. I enjoyed the pecan crusted chicken breast and fried shrimp, while Aaron had the chef's fried chicken and the fried pork chop. Be sure to save some room for dessert, including their famous praline basket. We highly recommend reservations for dining in the main restaurant, but you can stop by the tavern to see if bar seating is available. Bella Napoli or Bella Napoli. We didn't ask the pronunciation. With the title of best Italian restaurant in Savannah, we could not pass up the chance to try Bella Napoli. Not much beats the taste of fresh cooked pasta paired with a nice wine over candlelight. Aaron had the Pollo Vesuvio and I enjoyed one of the house specials. They do not seat parties larger than four at the same table, split checks, or accept a party of more than eight people. Since it is a cozy restaurant, they are also not suited for small children. The Peach Cobbler Factory. This chain restaurant was new to us, but did not disappoint when it came to satisfying a sweet tooth. They feature a delectable assortment of premium cobblers, banana puddings, cinnamon rolls, shakes, and cookies. I tried the peach mango cobbler with ice cream and Aaron tried the New York Cheesecake Banana Pudding. If you are trying to watch your waistline or your blood sugar, this is not the place to visit. Leopold's Ice Cream. A Savannah staple, Leopold's Ice Cream was founded by three brothers from Greece in 1919. All of the ice cream flavors are handcrafted from recipes that have been passed down through generations. You cannot go wrong with whatever flavor you decide to try, and if you can't make up your mind, they do offer nationwide shipping. Moss and Oak. Located in the lobby of the Hyatt Regency Hotel, Moss and Oak Savannah Eatery is a great place to dine before venturing out on River Street or the Plant Riverside District. Another restaurant focusing on Southern cooking, they differ by using Savannah style cast iron, to make sure no ounce of flavor is sacrificed. Open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and even room service if you're staying at the Hyatt Regency. Wet Willies. 
Traditionally known for their vast amount of daiquiri flavors, Wet Willy's also serves food if you need something to go with your frozen treat. Offering many sports bar favorites, there are plenty of comfort food choices. Remember, you can take your daiquiri to go since Savannah is an open carry city. Hyatt Regency. With direct access to River Street, the Hyatt Regency is a great hotel to stay in if you want to be right in the mix. We stayed in a terrace view room which had a small semi-private patio that joined the larger garden patio. This hotel is perfect for larger meetings, weddings, family reunions, or small get-togethers. It is also within walking distance to many of Savannah's top tourist attractions. JW Marriott. Located in Savannah's newer Plant Riverside District, the JW Marriott Hotel is a triple A four diamond luxury hotel. While we didn't stay here, we did walk through their lobby area, which featured a metallic dinosaur, large crystals, and many striking art pieces. Be sure to pay it a visit, even if you don't stay in the hotel. To make sure we could fit our clothes when we got home, we took several nice long walks throughout the city. Savannah is full of beautiful architecture that even the novice photographer would love to shoot. Hope you enjoy a few of the shots we took on our stroll through the city. So there you have it, 10 restaurants to try along with some hotel accommodations and views of the city. As always, if you like our content and want to follow along with our journey, hit the subscribe button and be sure to turn on the bell so that you are notified of when we post new content. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up since it really supports the channel. Until next time!